Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this video I wanted to quickly show you some of the new things that I got for my collection. These are SH Figure Arts and Mafex and they are all Spider-Man related. So let's kick off with Mafex because what I actually have here is Scarlet Spider comic version. Now we saw Scarlet Spider in the new Spider-Verse animated movie and uh, he looks similar to this but this is the actual comic version i decided to pre-order this when pre-orders went up and it's now finally here but uh, i love the base body of this figure because it practically uses the same body as that uh, classic uh, spider-man which is uh, this one I had so much fun posing this guy that I decided to get Scarlet Spider as well. I know that his articulation is amazing and they also decided to add a soft goods shirt with a wired hood so those things give you more posing options and uh, a lot of accessories. No unmasked head though, which is a bummer, but we get three different types of uh, Spidey head here so that should be enough for this figure. We see some cool promo shots here in the back. We also get webbings, we get the Mafex stand, as we do with all their figures. And so I'm really looking forward to reviewing this guy and to making a posing video for him. So I hope that that will be something that you guys will be interested as well. Because my Spidey posing video is doing really good on the channel. So I'm sure that a lot of you guys out there who are watching my content are Spider-Man fans. So you can expect to see this guy on the channel soon. But then, next two figures that I have here actually are from the second Spider-Verse movie. And these are the SH Figure Arts Miles Morales and the SH Figure Arts Spider-Gwen. And these two releases, as soon as I saw them, I wanted to get these figures because they look amazing. This Miles and this Gwen look even better than what we initially got from Mafex. And uh, those Mafex figures are the ones that I have in my collection as well. The sculpting on these two figures and the amount of accessories, the unmasked heads, webbings, hands and uh, even the stands. You get a Tamashi Nation stand with each of these figures that are designed specifically for each character. So Miles comes with his stand that has his logo on it and Gwen comes with her stand that has her logo on it. That's a nice little touch by Bandai. I have a lot of SH figure arts, uh, mainly Star Wars figures in my collection and uh, I don't remember that I ever got a Tamashi Nation stand with any of them. So this is a nice addition, a nice bonus to these figures. The only minus for both of them is that they are not coming with fisted hands. I'm not sure why that is. Why was it a problem to include fisted hands in these sets? Because you would probably want to pose them sometimes in a position of uh, hitting an enemy with their fists, you know, something like that. But for some reason Bandai decided not to include fisted hands in these sets. Apart from that, man, they look amazing. This is the other side of the box. I'm looking forward to posing these figures and uh, to see how many great poses I'll be able to get out of these two. So yeah, this is my Spider-Man haul for this video. Stay tuned for all of the reviews and all of the posing videos on the channel soon. And uh, thank you all for watching. Thank you for being here with me and I'll see ya in the next video.